On the first day of summer, California witnessed a historical day. This was the day of resolution. SCR 32 was to be brought to the Senate to recognize and appreciate Hinduism. The morning of June 24th, an enthusiastic bunch of folks took a bus from Fremont and made it to the state capital of Sacramento to witness this historic moment. In a valiant effort put together by the Hindu American Foundation, the local leaders and the office of State Senator Ellen Corbett, the resolution was presented on this rainy Monday morning. And I am honored this morning to present SCR 32, which designates October 2013 as Hindu American Awareness and Appreciation Month. Over two million Hindu Americans live in the United States and California is home to the largest Hindu population in our country. Hindu Americans have a long history of providing our society and state with many cultural contributions. These contributions can be tracked back to 1906 when the first Hindu temple in the United States was built in San Francisco. Today, there are more than 50 Hindu temples throughout the state with seven of those temples located in the 10th Senate District. And with an unanimous aye vote. I 31, no zero, that resolution is adopted. In attendance were the leaders of the Hindu American Foundation, local leaders Ash Kalra, Anunar Rajan, Rod Sullivan, and Anjali Lati. Still holding the floor, Senator Corbett reminded the Senate that they had all made history today. This is the first time a resolution celebrating Hindu Awareness and Appreciation Month has passed any legislative chambers in the entire U.S. So thank you all for your participation in that. We caught up with Senator Corbett shortly after. Senator Corbett, a very historic day today. Yes, a very historic day. I'm very glad to be part of this honor to be celebrating Hindu Appreciation and Awareness Month here on the floor of the State Senate. Take us through what it took to put this together. I'm sure it was quite an effort on a lot of different folks. Well, there were a lot of people involved, but I have to say the Hindu American Foundation was very involved and they really did all the work and put it all together. But we're just very happy to be able to recognize, you know, all of the contributions of the Hindu American community and it, it, which plays such a vibrant role in my Senate district. The Senate proceeding was followed by a short reception on the steps of the state capitol. The reaction? There is no way I wouldn't have come. We had to come. Spokesperson for HAF, Cholera talked about what it took to get the resolution to the Senate floor. We've been working on this for several months. Uh, we've been working with Senator, uh, Senate Majority Leader Ellen Corbett, who's been wonderful. Um, and she's the one who introduced the resolution, and her staff has been great in helping to make sure that all the senators support this resolution. Um, we've also conducted uh, several meetings uh, throughout the state Senate uh, for the last several months, and we've done a call-in campaign as well to ensure that we get the support of everybody, because this is just an opportunity to really celebrate California's great diversity and also a great moment for the community as well. The folks who traveled on that rainy morning said they knew how important the resolution is and even the rain couldn't dampen their spirits. It helps us to make the community around us understand who we are, recognition of our community in this Bay Area. We've been for so long, over 30 years, but it's still kind of on the fringe. So with this, bringing total awareness and general awareness in the population, plus giving uh, some foothold to our children, the younger generation, how they will be perceived and how they will be able to participate in the community with the acceptance from all around them. That is our main purpose of this. Sharma, a Fremont resident, says he wouldn't have missed this for the world. Oh, we came out for very important reason. This resolution which they passed today is something which will trigger a lot of pride in the community. They will feel really good that they have been recognized finally after a long time, although they deserved it all the time, but somehow they remained unnoticed. But this is the first time they did it. I'm glad California is the first one in the nation that did it. And despite the rain, the uh, celebration so continued. Welcome everyone. This is the Hindu American Foundation reception to celebrate the passage of Senate Concurrent Resolution 32. I wanted to thank all of you for coming out today. It's without you this wouldn't have been possible because your support is not only what made this day possible, but what makes Hindu American advocacy possible. And remember this day. This is the first day. This is not the end. This is the beginning. 
We'll look back on this day five, ten years from now, and we'll realize that we started something great here today in the state capitol, not only in California, but in the nation at large. That's all for this week's Thea TV Spotlight. To catch more, log on to youtube.com slash theatvusa. And if you have an event that needs to be covered, send us an email at spotlight at theatvinc.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, right here on Thea TV.